Hi guys, it's the Cello Guru coming to you from Alameda Point, California on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's Bach month. It's Bach month. <laughs> I've been practicing Bach every day. Cello Guru students are studying Bach in the Bach Quintuplet series for the whole month of January. Super cool. Um, I would like to talk to you today about how to challenge yourself each time you practice, okay? So, um, you want to make sure you're challenging yourself because your teacher's not always there to push you. So you have to push yourself, okay? You have to know where you're comfortable, push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone when you're practicing, okay? Um, identify a few things you're gonna work on every time you practice something. So I'm gonna do a noodling arpeggio right now as my warm up. It's gonna sound like this. <laughs> getting in the string. I don't know if you can see my cello. Let me angle this a little better. I'm thinking about getting in the string, pushing with my index finger, making the string ring, trying to get a really golden sound, okay? Those are the three things I'm gonna think about. So I'm gonna do it in three different tempos to challenge myself, okay? I'm gonna do it slow, medium, and fast. Those are the three things I'm gonna do, okay? But I think I did pretty well. I got the sound that I wanted and I wasn't too um, uncoordinated with that. Uh, and then if you need to make it even harder, you're going to come up with something else to challenge yourself, okay? It might be that you're gonna slur it. <laughs> try that backwards. Ooh. Okay, that's super hard. Okay, I've reached my limit there, right? But you want to think of different things um, to challenge yourself. And then you're going to take the same exercise and maybe do it in a different key, okay? part of your bow okay that's interesting top of my bow so it started off where i didn't know how to do it but by the second one i was able to do it challenges uh push yourself to do something different uh it's not, it might not work but you got to keep changing trying different things and that's that's how you're going to get better and that's how you're going to develop um technique okay all right so i want you to challenge yourself each time you practice that's the way to do it okay all right i uh, will see you next time over and out